years, I'm uh, showing off how much the game has come since the um, private demo. There's a lot to this game that has been um, added since then. Uh, I'm playing the demo levels, just kind of showcasing them in an updated state. June, we're aiming for June. <laughs> pray, to, pray to God oh my <laughs> for <gosh>. June. <laughs> they really want to finish this fight soon, man. Yeah, dude, I know. We've been pumping our asses off with this, and we saved all of the worst shit for the end. <laughs> so... How long have been working on Around the Clock? Since February of last year. You, in case you have never seen this game, in case you've never seen this game, um, look up Game Salmon, look up Next Genius, look up Dom Plays, look up Taste, look look up all those people. They're 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 good. They are they are the good boys. And and Jay. See you out there, Jay. Micro Horror Arcade. He used to play this. Oh, and my shit is wow. also lagging a little bit. Oof. Uh, so this is the same gimmick as before. Chase left Glovey through this chaotic park of woe and tragedy. As things are being completely destroyed. I will show you guys just one little secret location. I'm gonna get shocked, of course, because you know, the pinkies are cunts. Uh, what I just picked up is a Patrick sketch, and with Patrick's sketches, we do have uh, something planned for them. I can't reveal what, but it is an extra, or type of extra that you can unlock strictly from uh, Patrick levels. It lags sometimes. Yeah, I know, it's lagging, I know. I gotta lower the game settings. I can do that, though, in a bit. Don't worry. Uh, goodness. Right. Yeah, the lighting in this map is probably my favorite. Yeah, it's got like pretty decent orange. lighting. That, that is yeah, I called the orange glow and shit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Up the brightness in my game in general, because it is just a little too dark for my liking. I'll fiddle around with uh, some settings and all that after we get through this bullshit section here. Because that's when there's calm. Also, if you couldn't notice, now instead of having, like, the objective text just appear and disappear in the middle, the objective is now always in the top left up above me, which is very convenient. And we also added, like, some bonus UI visual bullshit for getting collectibles and all that lovely nonsense. And as you all know, the Switch is still here. Nothing really changed uh, from this, aside from, uh, you know, our incorporation of uh, something you're working on. Yeah, that is one of the things <laughs> that we want to improve on, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, and then... Here's our incorporation of Barry, since that's the running gag with this game, is that Barry is, like, almost always involved with Goofy Goober <laughs> So, here's this stupid ass who's fucking dead. Ugh, goodness gracious. Yeah, you usually, I mean, that's just Unreal Engine for you. One thing that we're going to improve is optimization, because Dave something, Dave realized something about a lot of his, um, lights in his games, that they yeah. eat up a lot of performance. <laughs> and then this, here we go. Now, I am kind of going for ace completion of this level. So, this is gonna be interesting. So no longer is there the shit that's keeping you still. Instead, now we have the hint clamps. Because originally we weren't going to have the hint clamps because they were in the game before, but then we got rid of them. Then we realized how stupid it was to get rid of them, so we brought them back into this format here. Gives you two to three pictures on how to explain shit, and then gives you a nice little description. Uh, this just teaches you about lights and how they're useful and how some of them work. This particular one we have can uh, fuck up very easily. Then, of course, it just briefly shows, uh, in this one, it shows the, uh, map and how it works. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much that. Now I run through the game as normal. Uh, we added, like, a little origin point, and, um, in a later version of this dev build, we're adding, like, little circle zones to show you where SpongeBob can spawn, just to make it even easier. Okay, um... Oh my gosh, this level's already giving me PTSD. <laughs> Oh god, this is gonna. I mean, like, I mean, it's also the first level though, aside from the tutorial level. So I mean, we want it to be kind of forgiving. Okay. Um. Now where is? Okay. Wait. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. So this is the Krabby Patty room. Where is the? Okay. And there is no conch. That's. You need to not do what you're doing, sir. If I can just happen to find like any sort of these um. Pick up a bowl, you know, interactable items along the way. That would be nice. Oh, hello. I can't see. 
Pants. <laughs> you don't, you little fuck. You son of a bitch, how dare you? When your own thing now, scares you. Now you say, you say you made him. Well, okay, well, you coded him, contrary. but same difference. Same, same difference. You know, I conceptually made him. There's more of a distinction. Oh, you know, I don't need to see. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. Like, oh. <laughs> alright, oh, I made him alright. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, we're gonna just... Okay, where the hell are we right now? Good the fucking lord. Phone! I'm gonna beat your ass! God damn Go. I hate everything. Everything hates me equally. Where the... There's the sandwich, dude! Whoosh! Jeez! Oh, fuck! Damn it! Fuck! Oh, oh, shit. God, I got turned around by fucking everything. Shit! Oh, this is what... Oh, we have game over screens now, by the way, that give actual useful tips other than randomized <laughs> Give the art firm as well. So it's cool. Mm -hmm. God, dude, that fucking everybody just came at me all of a sudden. Well, so much for the ace run, but whatever. Oh, SpongeBob! I haven't. I didn't even. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's heart, right. The heart room doesn't. Oh no, no. So what are you gonna say? I was gonna say the heart room doesn't kill you, but it will fill up your screen with those hearts, so it kind of makes reading the map harder. Mm -hmm. You're trying yeah. to read it. It's certainly not a good idea to be in those rooms. Especially yeah. if the strategy is sitting in the corner and keeping an eye on the lobbies. Because, like, there's no corners. There's outer corners, not inner corners. <sighs> Woo! Alright. Oh, also a little subtle thing, but we added black bars for cutscenes as well. So that's a little thing we did. Damn! I thought you corrected all of the SpongeBob! Son of a bitch! Ah, oh, How did I miss that? <laughs> yeah, but, like, there's so much that I wish I could show off of this game, but I don't want to spoil a whole lot, so... Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks for someone who's very excited. That's why I also right. can't wait to finish this game and be able to show more. Mm-hmm. Like, streaming and shit, yeah. Five minutes around the clock. Ugh. <laughs> oh, shit. Good old this kind of fun. <sighs> Alright. You're starving, Victoria? Well, get yourself some meat. Bam. Get a snick. Get a snick, exactly. Get yourself a gush during sneak. If you aren't eating a snack right now, what you doing? What you doing? I need a snack. A, a, a snack. Yep. Alright. Exactly. A snack. His favorite bag of snail food from the kitchen and pour it into his dish. He should come running in no time. Uh, y'all remember, how many of you saw Omar Sabali trying to uh, ace this level? Him trying to ace this level was some hilariously pathetic shit. No offense to me. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's funny. We we have something just for him. Just for him. Uh, let's see. So yeah, of course. Um, cause be <laughs> it's it's funny actually. Um, we have what is um referred to as the Sabali effect. Uh, in our little circle of friends, and it's when people are like not bright enough to understand what should be very common sense of like, oh, if there's an enemy that moves faster than me and can catch up to me easily upon spotting me, maybe I should try to hide. This is an example of the Sabali effect. So we had to literally give the advice of, for if an enemy can easily keep up during a chase, perhaps you should stay out of sight to remain undetected. Again, not shitting on the man, but... <laughs> One thing you'll notice is that each of the characters have a certain theme to their levels. Like in SpongeBob's case, his theme is stealth. And it's mostly enemies that you can't outrun, or enemies that can keep up very easily. So, don't be stupid. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pour us some food here. Wasn't an episode of SpongeBob. 
there was snail food in the can. But yeah, it's not fucking. Wow. That thing oh happened. <laughs> that thing happened. Fucking damn it. Doodle Bob loves to do that. He loves to check that corner. Doodle Bob is most certainly not the toughest AI. Yeah, nah, he's he's not the toughest AI by the by a landslide. It's just this cunt in particular that <laughs> makes this level. I'm not gonna be stupid here. I'm gonna let Doodle Bob just swing on by first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, 41 people in here right now. That's wild. That's fucking wild. Gary! Ah! Fucking Damn it. Damn it, dude. Hi. I rushed that. that. I rushed that. I s there was a split second. You have those moments where, like, yeah, time where goes like slow motion. And yeah, then where it's, it's like that too late to react, even though you realize your mistake. <laughs> yeah. I had that moment right there. That was my moment. Is there a drawing in this level? No, it's, uh, the drawings are restricted. Excuse to, me, uh, two patch, patch levels. levels. Okay. You got this, Scooby. When the full game comes out, I want to see you beat it without dying. Just because I'm the developer doesn't guarantee oh, no. my success. Oh! I, I mean, maybe I'd have a better chance of because I, like, fucking play this game, like, all the time. I mean, you probably oh. have a better chance. Can you, yeah. like, maybe not be there? How about you don't be there? How about you don't be there? <laughs> Thank you. Just hit me around him. Uh... I mean, I, I could, but I don't know, like, his range, is it? Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> That's the downside of not being the one in the project file. You don't know the box figure oh, size. Shit. Okay, big house. Okay, big house. Okay, big house. Ah! Fucker! Fucker! I tried to be slick. I remember... You know, there was a point where I was good at this game. Are you going to be playing any unreleased levels? No. Me. It really depends. We can't, we can't do a release level spell. <laughs> that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean, like, not reveal. I think you meant, like, Tula Tula and Revelator. Oh, oh, that. No. Oh, 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 oh,
The railings and uh, those giant poles and shit actually made the map look much better, though. It, it did, like... Even if it does hinder you a little bit. Yeah. That would look nice. No more cheesing cheesing around these parts. You can still kind of cheese. You can still jump off the railing, but, you know. Yeah. That's why jumping is a thing. And I'm disregarding that checkpoint, because, I mean, this is probably, like, the easiest of the three to, uh, ace. Yeah, Pod just trying to take credit for everything. Oh, yeah, I know. Look at that fucking nerd taking credit. What a son of a bitch. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> also, I love how it was, like, making two levels a month in the past, and then it just dropped to, like, a level a month. I mean, in all fairness, this is also because, a pretty... Like, these have been getting, like, more complex as time went on. Yeah. Oh, 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 well, well, no, fuck! I don't think anyone's gotten the reference of the Clara now the toilet, because reference that one thing where Sponge was like, Screw it, I use your clinic to unclog the toilet, and all that shit. Oh, wait, oh, is oh. that why that's on the toilet? Nope, 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 wait. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna do the big boy plays. We're gonna wait until he comes uh, up the stairs. Yeah, he could just jump off the railing. Yeah, yeah. fucking. Unless he decides to 180 like a cunt, that's also a good possibility. Hey, God. We stand, zombie Lenny. There's already a zombie plankton, all right, and that's enough of a mistake that exists in Dave's like roster of characters. I know. Uh, off the flashlight. Uh, flashlight doesn't matter with Dave's AI. As much as yeah. uh, we would like to incorporate that, it doesn't really matter. You can, you can have that bitch on people and it doesn't affect the thing. That'd be the least spoilery level, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I suppose we can do that. This is the easiest of the home levels, by the way. Because, you know, like, as you progress in the game, more levels are revealed. Um, the home levels are released in, like, a four-part, like, batch where every character gets a level. Or around the clock, every guy's sequel. I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> no! 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 no. Post-update content, maybe! But I no, full. Ugh, oh, God. I mean, I mean, you didn't see a Battle of Kini Bottom sequel. Uh, same will go for here, around the clock. <laughs> around don't the think other clock? <laughs> exactly. Mr. Kraz, one cheap ass motherfucker like Dom. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> it's it's funny actually, since I'm writing for the game, I had to actually like read up. There's a website that has like a comparison of like the uh, characters' traits from like early seasons to like mid season to nowadays seasons, and we're kind of going for a mix. We're going for more of like the older seasons. So, yeah. there's some elements you'll notice of Mr. Krabs that retain more of that, if not heightened a bit. Or I feel like Mr. Krabs has been like a selfish bitch in the newer seasons, or at least mid-season anyway, but mid here we're kind of keeping his older personality where there's some redemption level. There, like there's some degree there. of humanity in Mr. Krabs. Yeah. Oh, oh please let me daughter be safe and shower. Oh, everyone will get to, uh, should we show off, like, the paintings, maybe, or, uh... Um, maybe people will just catch an eye on them, but let's not show them directly. Okay. This is sort of a, a surprise, you know? Alright, um, should we show off any sort of the, like, any one extra, any particular extra, or... I mean, we could show off the extras after, uh, you finish being this, like, both, uh, Pineapple Monument and, I guess, this one. Yeah, I guess I could probably nab an extra from here. Well, here's an easy extra that you can get. Oh, look at that. Someone smeared me. Someone violated me, dollar. I gotta clean that up. There we go. Shit. There we go. So, yeah. There's a lot of, like... Oh, God. This level, like, took ages. Yeah, there's a lot of models. references. There's... this. Yeah. I Like, I, there were so many knickknacks that you had the model, I know. Oh, that was a nightmare, dude. Yeah, here's Mother Jellyfish. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I had to make some shortcuts in doing some of these, like, antiques. Like, the mother jellyfish there. Yeah. Behind you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. I get that. Like, I had to make a lot of textures for this goddamn level. I remember that. Oh. oh. Which model was the worst to make? Um. I don't... 
No, at the moment? So, yeah, I'm sure there was a bitch the... of a model that I made that I can't remember. Mr. Krabs, dummy thick. Oh, he a thick boy. He's actually, um, because each of the characters have different speeds. Mr. Krabs is actually the slowest of the bunch, so. Oh, and there he goes. Goodbye. <laughs> so, yeah, as you'll see here, you're kind of introduced to the concept of, um, sleeping enemies. During your escapades, you'll come across foes who are sound asleep. It's best to avoid interrupting their sheep-counting activities by evading environmental hazards that could cause a ruckus. If they're stirred from their slumber, may Neptune have mercy on your soul. So, uh, yeah. Mr. Krabs has a bit of variety with his levels as well. Swiveward and Mr. Krabs have a bit of variety with their shit, but SpongeBob and Patrick are strictly to their themes, for the most part. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Um, also... Pearl is voiced by our good friend, um, Pug, um, I forget her okay, name. The gamer in someone, disguise. someone, someone link her shit. Probably her YouTube. Go subscribe to her YouTube. She's a pretty nice person. She just uploaded a video today of, uh, golfing. Uh, but yeah, alright, here we go. We're gonna start, we're gonna collect our wads of cash. Well, will all levels be unique and different? Of course. Of course. There There's the rush to me money. Of course, this is a time trial as well, but I'm not going to worry about the time trial bullshit. <laughs> I'm not going to that. <laughs> Alright, so... Will all levels be unique and different? Yes. Should I just up? <laughs> Nixon did a very good job with the sound design, or just the music oh, yeah. composition uh, with this game, especially this level. I like this level's um, music. Yeah, don't step on those, those are boards that'll be like little fucking assholes and wake her up instantly. <laughs> so. uh, where is the money? Oh yeah, here's my money. Okay. Uh, okay, where is Pearl right now? Where? Where is? Shit, is it? Is Pearl a is Pearl a Jellion clone? Uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Pearl, I would imagine. Hi there. Sleep. Oh, you're sleepwalking and you're gonna wake up and I'm not being there. <laughs> Let's explore the basement. Ah, oh, shit, that's right. I forgot that you're playing. There's a pinky in here, and let me tell you, if you love pinkies, you're gonna really love pinkies in this I was expecting a sea shanty and was disappointed. To be fair, the music does have a bit of the sea shanty. It's, in uh, Drunken Sailor. There's a, a yeah. little bit of the melody from Drunken Sailor. But it's not enough to, like, take away from it. It's, like, a very subtle mm -hmm. thing. Okay, so Pearl's awake right now, but she shouldn't be. I love how the frame rate's, like, really good up here because you literally teleport in miles away from the actual map. Ow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hey there. Hi there, big hoss. You're gonna go to your room? That's great. I'm gonna go this way. Where the fuck is the money? Oh, you're not supposed to be here. There are many places for you, and this is not one of the places. This is not one of the places. Um... Most likely I won't. I'm just kind of just demonstrating the level to a bare-bone degree. Okay. Fat my way through that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I almost just stepped on that board. That fucking dumbass. Alright. Uh, well, death. You know, I thought that would be pretty obvious. That's basically what happens. So, for those of you who are seeing the stream, this is Mr. Krabs' gimmick. Yeah, he has a mayo minigun. He has a mayo minigun. <laughs> and it shoots. <laughs> Forced into a corner with no way out, armed with a mayo minigun, you can hold the left mouse button and will fire a never-ending barrage of mayo pellets at any enemy in front of you. No ammo, no cooldown, no problem. Just make sure to watch your six. An unlimited gun just for you to spray at fuckers. I got the token. I, I don't need to show off the token right now. It's not in all Mr. Krabs' levels, but it's in like uh, more than half, I'd say. 
It's in a decent amount. It's in a decent amount. Yeah. Okay. Let us get to the front door. Oh, hi there. There we go. This is where my writing special comes into play. One of my favorite bits story is to be completely honest. Mm -hmm. Like the I like the one I wrote for this. Go. Holy shit, we're almost at 50 viewers? Damn, nice. Holy shit. We're not even like a third of the way through the goddamn stream. Perhaps he can get his money because he's more concerned about his daughter. He's more concerned about his daughter than his money at that moment. Money means nothing in an invasion. Wow, that was solid character. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, goodness. 